This over here is a broken 12900K, but I was very lucky it still works but it's still broken you can break yours very easily as well so let me explain you what i'm talking about and then hopefully you're not gonna make the same mistake what i did looking for a cheap way to license your windows check out who keys through the links in the video description make sure to use the code tn20 to get a 30 percent off paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done this license is for windows 10 but you can upgrade it to windows 11 for free they also offer microsoft office 19 license use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out whokeys.com in the video description below. Okay, I've built this tower so I would be closer to my top camera so we can really show you what's the difference over here. So on the left side here, I have the 12900KS and this is completely working CPU. Well, there's nothing broken over here. This is the 12900K. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can see 12900K there. And if you look over here, this part of the CPU, you can see that one of those kind of uh, voltage regulators, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I don't think it's a capacitor. I think it's, um, oh, what's the word for it? Uh, help me out in the comment section below. The thingy is gone. It's uh, shaved off. And as you can see over here, we have one of those, but on this side, we have just two broken kind of connectors over there and the actual middle part of the voltage regulator is gone. And um, I've actually got it, I've, I've taped it in here just in case like in the future, I don't know, someone can fix it for me or something like that. But basically it's taped in the middle over there, that little thing, it's in there. And this is more common than you actually think. And I'm gonna show you in a moment why this happened. Cause for the life of me, I was like, how has this happened? It's been in this plastic box, but it's it's gone, it's broken. What shaved it off? You know, I'm, I'm very careful with all my stuff. I'll, I'll show you in a moment. Basically, if you haven't seen, Der Bauer actually made a video a few months ago about fixing the 12900K CPUs. And in his video, he actually said that. And then I also received this 12900K from my Intel Germany rep who got this CPU returned from probably a reviewer or something. I'm not quite sure. But this CPU has three SMDs missing on the bottom. And I was like, oh, when I heard this, I was like, oh, I know why this has happened. So basically, the whole thing, if you are using the CPUs and you have the plastic box within the box, you know, to actually protect your CPU and so on. Basically, what you don't realize is that this CPU needs to go into this box in a very specific way. There's only one way it can go in. If you put it in a different way, basically when closing the CPU box like that, the actual plastic side will won't like kind of protect or hold the CPU from the right places. And it can put like a weird pressure on these side voltage regulators or whatever they're called. I'm something of a scientist myself. You know, help me out in the comment section below. And you can just like kind of shave them off let me show you what i mean so basically if you've got the box over here and you open it it looks like kind of can go either this way or that way inside so let's say the control line okay either this way or that way it kind of fits in both ways but the thing is it doesn't actually if you look very very closely inside the box see there in the bottom left corner over there See, in the bottom left corner over here, there is a little triangle. And this triangle needs to be matched up with this triangle in on this CPU. It's basically like the orientation. It will go in the socket as well. So if you do put it the wrong way, which I have done at the moment, as you can see, like the corner is in here instead of here. Can you see like this space between this side of the CPU? and this space over here, they aren't equal. So what you can do is now when you're pressing this down, this little plastic kind of side over there will put pressure on these over there. And then when you think, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, clip it kind of shut. What you actually can do is just shave your uh, voltage regulators or SMDs, whatever they're called there, off. So you need to be very, very careful when using these plastic things that your CPU is oriented at the right way something like that now when you've got it the right way you can just easily close it and you can see that the pressure here goes nicely over them very like easy way and over there as well you can just press it down there's there's no problem it will hold the cpu nice and steady there it's not going to go anywhere but if it is the wrong way it's not going to actually properly even close so let's say here now at the moment we've got it the wrong way 
It's not gonna properly close. I just wanna make sure I'm not shaving anything off there again. <laughs> this plastic bit over there is really on the edge. I don't wanna like properly shut it because I might shave something else off there either. But basically now that plastic bit over there is really just pressing on those capacitors over there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see if we can go much closer. So now we're the wrong way, but as you can see, this plastic kind of embossed bit over there is literally just sitting on those edges over there as you can see like the bit where that's that's come off already if i would just press it closed it's literally just gonna shave that one off over there and i suspect that's why these cpus have come back broken from the german you know media from there and people just because it, it's not easy to to notice because it's all kind of see-through and you don't notice that little triangle there and you can easily just put it in the box and you're like oh yeah i think it's the wrong way you're like just press it shut and then you're like click 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 something is loose inside there and then you realize whoops that was one of the voltage regulators so then is my cpu actually working yes i have tried it and it's completely working uh, there's there's no problems over there because i think i was lucky that i didn't shave like any of the side ones off because then it might have not worked but basically i think um talking to my intel contact they said that it's probably a voltage regulator so if you're not overclocking this and um, it probably shouldn't be an issue but still it's it's like broken you know it's it, it shouldn't be like that it, there's a reason why it's there especially when there's cpus there my fellow youtubers and my fellow uh you know tech guys if you've got these intel 12th gen cpus next time make sure your cpu is the right way inside the box otherwise you might shave some stuff off you might not be as lucky as i am just a little story time just watch out when you're doing that if you're at this point of the video and you want to build yourself a pc go check out my best bank for buck pc build videos we've got a thousand dollar build 1500 dollar build and the two and a half thousand build even a five thousand dollar build so you go fit your budget and in fact at the moment they're even cheaper because of the gpu prices have gone down but i used like the high gpu prices you know when gpu prices were sky high at the moment they're much lower so you can get those pcs even cheaper go check them out in the description below anyway that's all just uh, thought I'll, I'll i'll let you know this then okay thanks for watching bye bye